Have you ever, under the influence of alcohol, questioned the teachings of the Mormon Church? <laughs> Where did you get this? I got it on a website. That's not important. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Saints Unscripted. I'm Taylor. I'm Justin. Dave. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? <laughs> Why are we introducing ourselves? Let's... Because people have been complaining. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're oh, like, I the only person's name I know is David. I'm... And now it's Dave. Alright. <laughs> and now it's, <laughs> and now it's David. Dave. You gotta switch it up on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Everything so they saw on Faith and Beliefs was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Since Latter-day Saints seem to have been showing up in popular media lately. On TV shows, movies. That's pretty much Manga. it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just kidding. Hopefully. I don't think so. I don't think so. I haven't seen any. That'd be strange. Uh, so today, um, just in a general sort of way, we kind of want to uh, determine whether or not some of these portrayals are accurate. Right? So mm. we just we're gonna we're gonna be watching some clips from different movies. We have not watched these ahead of time. I mean we might have seen them before in our right. life, but we don't know what we've got in front of us. So we're just going to be uh, responding to to some of these clips and you get to watch with us, I guess. This first clip we're watching is from Star Trek IV, the movie. Well, yeah, I'll buy that. What about him? Him? He's harmless. Back in the 60s, he was part of the free speech movement at Berkeley. I think he did a little too much LDS. LDS? Mm. Harmless joke. <laughs> Harmless. <laughs> One that I've heard many times. <laughs> he did a little too much LDS. He might be. He might look a little different if he was doing too much LDS. He, he'd be an LSD. LSD. No, no, actually. No, no, no. He oh, looked LDS. like he looked like he was on LSD. LSD. <laughs> he looked like he was doing LSD. Got it he would have been yeah, different. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, this next clip is from the movie Raising Arizona. Have you guys seen this movie? No. It's wild. But still, I hadn't dreamt nothing about me and Ed until the end. And this was cloudier, because it was years, years away. But I saw an old couple being visited by their children, and all their grandchildren, too. And the old couple wasn't screwed up. And neither were their kids or their grandkids. And I don't know. You tell me. This whole dream. Was it wishful thinking? Was I just fleeing reality like I know I'm liable to do? But me and Ed, we can be good too. And it seemed real. It seemed like us. And it seemed like, well, our home. If not Arizona, then a land not too far away, where all parents are strong and wise and capable, and all children are happy and beloved. I don't know. Maybe it was Utah. <laughs> I was like, no way that's gonna, the joke is going to be the last line in this scene. Oh, I was just like, God. it was building so much. I feel like that's, is that like the end of the movie or something? I, I think so. It yeah. just ends with maybe it was Utah? I know, that was like, there's no way it ends like this. I don't. Uh, well, I'm fine with being portrayed as the people who aren't screwed up. It, it certainly looked and felt like a, like a 1970s Mormon family. Yeah. The frolicking in the living room. Right. And just the color, too. And yeah. And, like, the clothing. But it definitely was, like, interesting that he was like, this would have been heaven. You know, mm-hmm. maybe this is maybe heaven. Miss Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I think that's great. Thanks, oh. Nicolas Cage. Appreciate it. Okay, that's it. I'm signing off. I, I like, I, I own that. That, you know, stereotype of us that we're just like the clean, living, happy people. I'm okay with that. Although, I'm fine with that. I will say, even us over here in Utah can be a little screwed up. So, everybody's a little screwed up. <laughs> no, there's definitely 
Anyway, no, I'm just <laughs> Whoa, moving on. No, I'm just oh, um, don't make it too awkward. Okay, next clip. Oh, this is from the office. I know what this one's gonna be. Meredith, have you ever used alcohol to alter your mood or deliberately change your state of mind? Sure. Do you sometimes have a drink to celebrate a special occasion or mark a holiday? Obviously. Have you ever, under the influence of alcohol, questioned the teachings of the Mormon Church? <laughs> Where did you get this? I got it on a website. That's not important. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where they got that either. I, I, I want to know what, yeah, is that a... I've never been asked that question. Have you guys been asked that no. question? No. I don't <laughs> think the church ever would have produced a pamphlet that refers to itself as the Mormon Church. No. Maybe they did at some point, but it would have been really, really old. It's pretty, so. no, it was a really good play on Temple Recommend interviews, though. Yeah. Like, ever questioned, because honestly, if he had said, like, if you ever participate in anything that, like, actively, like, that's one of the Temple Recommend questions, right? right. Do like, you, do you uh, support or affiliate with groups who yeah. oppose views to the church or something? R right. Like, so they, like, took that wording. I was like, oh, I've heard this before. And he's like, do you oppose? Them? <laughs> that was funny. Classic. Good off this. This next one is from a more recent show called Supergirl. I haven't seen this one either. Wait, well, you knew he was the Flash? Oh, please. Barry shows up, the Flash shows up, his insistence on that silly name, and he was so unfailingly charming and nice that he had to either be a superhero or a Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's, those are the two options. Yeah. You're either superhero. a superhero or a Mormon. I, I, I feel like I that's kind of like... I don't mind that. Like, the, the, the views of us from people outside of the church are like either like super super good like superhero or mormon or like super super bad like worshiping the devil right type. and right it, and i think a lot of it comes from i mean we've done episodes on this before where we responded to the for strength of youth pamphlets like the first ones from the 50s mm. like there was a huge movement in the church to push like we we dress clean we we look clean we groom ourselves like there was a big push to to have a good, clean appearance. Right. And I think that paid off, I, obviously. I do think that we're seeing the result of that, even what, like, that even today. That show came out, like, I don't know when that episode came out, but in the last five years, you know? Yeah. Like, Interesting. I definitely feel like members of the church feel like they can relate to Flash in that show. I would be like, because he was like, I just have to do the right thing, but it's hard. And I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Reading my scriptures every day. Being a Latter-day Saint is basically being a superhero. <laughs> This one's from Cheers. Oh. The classic show. Oh, Carla, those are gorgeous. Who sent them? What do you think? Oh, isn't Eddie sweet? Oh, why can't Mormons send flowers? I didn't know Mormons couldn't send flowers. <laughs> I said Mormon, not Mormons. <laughs> I know they can't dance. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, uh, that's the Amish. Why, why can't Mormons send flowers? They can. Well, what are you talking about? I just wish someone would send me some, some roses. Well, why does it have to be a Mormon? <laughs> Cheers. Some people you just can't discuss religion. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, that that was was brilliant really writing. Good. That was, yeah. That was a perfect piece right there. That was great. I have no I have, I have nothing else to say. We can I, dance. I know I love yeah, that we, the we dance all the time. I feel like he's getting a was it footloose? And there is a time to dance. I think he's yeah, a, little a little bit confused now. But <laughs> <laughs> although footloose is not about Mormons, just a clarification. Right. But yeah. it was filmed. <laughs> it was filmed in Lehigh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually didn't know that. Have you ever seen it? Nope. Oh, I'll dance so for you right I... here. Just, you just proved him right. Debunking, yeah. debunking <laughs> stereotypes. <laughs> we gotta go back and watch it again. Oh, <laughs> man. Um, that, was a, yeah. that was a really good burn. Uh, I'm sorry. I, no, uh, I, I thought you were being... No, I'm complimenting you. That was, like, excellent. I thought you were, like, <laughs> consciously... You're making, it, really... you're making it worse! So, this next scene is from uh, South Park. Oh, Hello, newcomers, and welcome. Can everybody hear me? Hello? Can everybody? Okay. Uh, I'm the held director. Uh, it looks like we have about 8,615 of you newbies today. And for those of you who were a little confused, uh, you are dead, and this is hell. 
So abandon all hope and uh, yada yada yada. Uh, we're now going to start the orientation process, which will last about- Hey, wait a minute, I shouldn't be here. I was a totally strict and devout Protestant. I thought we went to heaven. Yes, well, I'm afraid you were wrong. I was a practicing Jehovah's Witness. Uh, you, picked you picked the wrong religion as well. Well, who was right? Who gets into heaven? I'm afraid it was the Mormons. Yes, the Mormons were the correct answer. <laughs> yes, the we Mormons. tried to tell you. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what's, what's so great about that is the irony that if it was really the Mormons, those people would not be in hell. Yeah. I, I think that's what's, I think that's the joke. But, and yes, I just want to say this real quick before we get caught out in the comments because there will be tons of people. I'm sorry we're using the word Mormon a lot today. It's just kind of coming off the tongue. Okay. And it's also just the media we're watching. <laughs> yeah. If they said, uh, the, if the correct answer was the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, then... That's what this episode would be about, but we're yeah. just referring to the media. So, so just just table those comments, and let's... <laughs> we'll work on re-editing all of these things. We're gonna dub it over every yeah. time we say the word Mormon. It'll just we'll dub it with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's a great idea. It's a terrible idea. Or Victor Christie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all gonna come back to bite That's us. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, this next clip is from The Simpsons. We'll return with how Dracula got his groove back. Hello. Oh, great. Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> no. Touche. That we, one is we the, are aliens. the South Park one I've seen the most because I'm in high school a lot. Oh, um, great. That's Mormons. So funny. <laughs> There's also like a scene later in that episode where like um, he goes to, pr uh, he's, he's in court and the judge and he's being so dumb and the judge is like, you, sir, are a moron man. And then he's like, a Mormon, but I'm from Earth. And then he runs out like, ah! <laughs> uh, just, it really is that, like, like oh, the alien thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. They, they, they could have leaned into the collab thing at that point. That was, uh, that was an opportunity uh, they missed. Low maybe. hanging fruit. Totally. Totally. Low hanging fruit. Yeah, and they didn't even grab it. <laughs> um, this next clip is from New Girl. anything else that is free but also has bread in it because the the like good bread I ate and that's like all that's left is like a it's like a, it's kind of like a health bread I'm sorry we're gonna have to ask you to give up the table um can I please just stay just a little bit longer we're here no we're here just we're here you have the date date thing all right you're all on a date? Yeah, we, uh, uh, we're her boyfriends. We are reverse Mormons. One man just isn't enough for her. <laughs> reverse Mormons. If you're going to be a Latter-day Saint, you got to get used to the, the, polygamy, uh, the polygamy jokes yep. at some point. Don't so. get used to the polygamy. Just the joke. Just <laughs> <laughs> a polygamy joke. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I think we have to clarify that aspect of our church more than any other mm. aspect. Yeah. People just want to know. They just, it's, they just want to. It's very risque. It. It's just yeah. scandalous. And I remember that episode of New Girl. Very heartwarming. Sad until her friends show up. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for watching this episode. We know that there are so many references to our religion and pop culture that we have not even touched on. But these are just like we only have so many minutes in an episode. Um, so please put in comments if you're like you want us to react to other specific ones. If you post a link, it will probably be automatically thrown out because people Good post point. terrible links. So just like type the name of it and we'll go find it or whatever. Yeah, or like this show or whatever and we'll see if we can figure it out because Google is awesome. Anyway, yeah, thanks. I think we're done, yeah. Thanks for watching.